Hey guys, this is a video on Windows software. Uh, I'm supposed to be referencing a, a video on YouTube, but it looks like YouTube's having a hard time loading. Uh, I don't think it's just for me because the guy who I'm referencing is Chris Perillo, and on his official website, which is full of YouTube videos, they're not loading either. So, um, so I managed to get it from a different site. Basically what I intend to show you is how to make a screensaver, an XP screensaver run is your desktop background. Now I searched for this on YouTube and all that came up was this video that just says basically he gets it running on his computer but it only works on Windows Vista, Windows Vista tricks. So how can we get it working on Windows XP? Well, his, his way of doing it was through a command line. We can't actually do that on our um, operating system. And you'll notice, if you go on his video, I'll probably provide a link to it in the description, that some people say, this does not work on XP. How can I get this working on XP? Well, there is a way. There's a freeware piece of software called Screen Paper. 15K, very small. You just download it, extract it, and you'll find yourself with two applications, uh, sorry, an application and a text file. You'll notice that the it's actually designed for Windows 95, but it works on Windows XP, so that's all good. Double click screen paper and select whatever you want, or we'll just say Mr. 5 for the second. I select the screensaver and you'll notice it's running in the background of my applications. Now, if you want to stop it, you just press the stop button, obviously. And also, uh, in one of my freeware screensaver videos, which was quite a while ago, I said how much I liked Electric Sheep, so I'll, I'll have that to show you the next thing, which is, this is showing Electric Sheep as my wallpaper, I can move my windows about and show you what it looks like. So, I don't want to have this here anymore, so I don't need it anymore, but you'll find that when you go to close it, It'll say, are you sure you want to stop all screensavers and exit screen paper? You do that and then it'll stop your screensaver. That's not what we want to do, we want to keep it going. So, if I go to load it again, um, what you can do is press Alt, Control, Delete, and in the Processes tab, we've just got to look for screwpaper.exe, and then click End Process, yes, and then it disappears. So what do we want to do when we want to stop the screensaver? We do the same thing, but now we look for something.scr, so they're electricsheep.scr. End the process, and the screensaver is gone. So this is a useful way to uh, have a Windows XP screensaver as a Windows XP wallpaper. So this only applies to XP. And I apologize not being able to show you the comments on YouTube, but it appears that YouTube doesn't isn't working so um, you can th with this software as well which is I don't know why anyone would, anyone would want to do this but you can have two running at once so you can say marquee and it should scroll a piece of text your text goes here and then you can scroll another one Mr. Foy on top of it so then you got your text goes here and the marquee running as a desktop wallpaper uh, stop all screensavers exit so you can have more than one running at once and then you do the same method uh, also what you'll find is when you go to run one uh, your icons will disappear there's nothing you can really do about it it's because the screensaver is running on top of your icons but it's still running if you understand what I mean uh, so what you do is you just if you want to access your desktop or icons you just press run type in desktop and there are my desktop icons, or if you want to do my computer, click my computer, my documents. I'm not sure of the shortcut for recycle bin, but I'm sure someone will be able to tell us in the comments. So, ah, here we have YouTube back again, so I can type in how to use a screensaver as wallpaper. Yes, command prompt that is only slash 65552 and then bam, this is only on Windows Vista and as you can see the video I'm referencing is this one and he says it, this is the same video as we just saw in the other bit and it says doesn't work on XP Pro and 
Uh, is there something like that for XP? So that's why I've made this video. Thanks for watching. If you find another way of doing it, this is another way of doing having like dream scene for your desktop because then you can just get a decent wallpaper and have that run as your desktop. I'll link to my other um, video on freeware screensavers so you can have a look so you can have a choice of them to have as your desktop wallpaper if you want. Uh, thanks for watching my, uh, my screensaver. Yeah, thanks for watching my screensaver, <laughs> and thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.